Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. Uh, in this ride, we're gonna test out 14.1.4 on the highway. We're gonna try um, some different modes. Uh, it currently puts itself automatically in chill there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says chill right there on the top left. But we'll see how, uh, how it goes. I'm just gonna tap the button and it's gonna reverse me out of this parking spot. There's no one around me. It's being a little cautious, but doing a really good job. I need to get some windshield wiper fluid. Excellent job. Just pulls out on the first try. Getting ready for this right turn. Oh, okay, it's taking it nice and wide. Uh, in the previous version, it would cut it really close to the dividers, and I, I almost felt like I needed to check the camera to make sure it doesn't hit the curb. But it did a really wide pull out and then turn to the right, which is super comfortable. Coming up to a stop sign here. It still stops at the line and then rolls forward a little bit. It's looking for our cars. There's a car coming from the left, but they are turning. Now that the car confirmed that they were turning and not just putting their blinker on randomly, we made our left turn. We'll be coming up to a traffic light here. And uh, we'll see here, and this collapsed. So uh, in the previous video, it showed uh, two lanes and uh, you know, showed arrows for right lane only or straight ahead and left. I did not do that for this intersection. Maybe there needs to be like actual um, arrows painted on the ground for that to happen. That's a newly paved road, so it doesn't have any arrows. So that's interesting. We'll have to try that out in a few other places and see what we get. Because that's a really neat feature that it'll prepare you for what's coming ahead by showing you that there are arrows, you know, coming up and, you know, each lane has their own path and it just knows the path and it picks accordingly. But uh, this road's been paved recently as well, so it feels like I'm just floating on a cloud here. Nice and smooth. And we're back to the old road. And uh, those newly paved roads, the sound dampening, like you really don't hear the road sound as much on the newly paved road, which is really nice. But I'm sure they can't just be running around paving roads just for me to be comfortable. That would be ridiculous, would it? Just kidding. All right, uh, so the speed is pretty good. Uh, it's a little too high for this area. Doing 45 and the 35, usually there's police officers like that guy just sitting there waiting for people to be speeding down this hill. And uh, they sit right before the speed limit changed to 50, so it goes from 35 to 50. And they're just waiting for you to be speeding in this area. So the speed limit was a little too high on standard, but it's doing okay on this stretch, doing 55 and a 50, which is appropriate. There was a little hesitation from that truck pulling up, but it, it wasn't like stabby braking or anything. I just felt like a feathering, but only one time. It was just like, let me see what this truck is doing. And then once it was confirmed that it was stopping, it was, the car just proceeded forward.
are coming up to our entrance onto the highway. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bump this up to Mad Max and uh, we'll see how it handles the uh, entrance into the highway. But nice blinker. Good slowdown. We have a yield sign. Nobody's coming from the left. Uh, let's see the all right, the acceleration is definitely quicker than on standard. And it's already at the highway speed. Nice lane change, very comfortable. Wow, 75, woo, 77, 78, 80, 79. All right, dialing back a little bit because the car's in front of us, but it is trying to make a left turn. It's definitely way more aggressive than standard. It is acting very timid on 14.1.3, uh, but now it is cruising. 83 and a 65. It's definitely pushing those cars in front of us, but still holding its uh, holding a good distance between me and the car in the front. Wow, okay, so Mad Max is real. I guess it depends on uh, when you turn it on. Uh, this guy's getting out of the way. There's police officers up ahead, so I'm just gonna dial this down back to standard. And I'll be curious in three stages to three stages closer to the police officers, because I'll be curious if it still reacts the same way the police officers that it did before. So I'm just gonna get into the same lane as them. Oh, okay. Sees the police officer tries to move over to the middle lane. Good slow down here for them. Alright, still very jumpy around the emergency vehicles. It didn't try to swerve towards it or anything, but it did slow down to the speed limit, which is 50, but it's kind of too late when you're already like nose to nose with a police officer to slow down. Our right, so standards going back up to 67 here. And it's passing this Mustang in front of us. So the speed limit is actually uh, supposed to be 50 in this construction zone, but it's doing 71 on standard. And the work zone just ended. I mean, 71, 72 is around the speed that everybody travels on this road during the morning rush hour traffic. So I'm not surprised it's doing that, but I am surprised that it's picking up 50 on the map and then doing 70, 71. It looks like it's settled in into its 70 speed. Try hurry. So we looks like standard drives around to about 70, and the uh, hurry is dialing up a little bit. Uh, the car is recognizing the solid lines in the construction zone. Let's see if it'll change lanes here. It does. Yeah, it's not sticking to its own lane. It's changing lanes over the solid lines. is definitely cruising a little bit faster. I have an open lane here to myself. And it's just doing its thing. It's doing 75 and a 50 really, because it's supposed to be 50 here. So it's uh, it's around 78 
that seems to be like the speed that it likes to sit around. There's nothing in front of us, so there's no cars that are slowing us down or anything. So it seems that on hurry, max speed is around 78. On Mad Max, the max speed is around like 81, 82, maybe 85 if it's a wide open road. And uh, I'm gonna dial it back down to standard. And standard seems to be at like 75, maybe even 70. Yeah, 75 looks like an open road. It still hasn't picked up any other speed limit signs. Still showing me 50, even though we are way past the work zone. The speed limit here is 65 now. That's the normal speed limit for this highway. But that has not changed yet. I don't know. Standard is pushing 78 here. I don't know why it's going so fast. I'm just going to dial it down to chill. Let's see what chill does. Chill immediately moves us over to the right lane. We're not taking this exit or anything. So as soon as I went to chill, it went into the rightmost lane and it's dialing the speed to back down. Kind of align itself with the cars in front of us. So I thought that it would uh, just stay in the right lane and chill, but it is moving over to the middle lane, so the cars in front of it are going a little too slow for us. The speed limit did change to 65 now, and uh, let's see how fast chill will drive. So right now it's staying around 68. The cars in front of us are starting to get a little bit further away from us, so it looks like it's going to be around the 70 range. 70... 71. All right. Well, I was wrong. I don't know what the hell's going on. There's no, like, a set speed, I guess. It's all determined based on conditions around you for all these modes. But it's sticking around 70. I would say chill drives around 70. It's not really trying to get to 75. Oh, look at that. It's pretty wrong. 73 is the highest. It is trying to pass this truck though, because it's got a pre stage for our exit. We're taking the next exit. Just doing a really good job here. Switching lanes. And we have a wide open lane here. We can go as fast as we want. And it's still doing 71, 72. So chill is 71, 72. And uh, sloth is always just like right on the speed limit. So I'm not going to switch to that on the highway because nobody ever goes the speed limit on this road. Now we're coming up to our exit. It pre-staged well in advance, like almost three quarters of a mile, which is a little unusual. It usually pre-stages like 0.3 miles away in 13.2.9. Uh, nice smoothness into this turn. It 13.2.9 was a little rough here because this turn was so sharp, but Chill has really taken this very softly. I'm like barely shifting my weight in the seat. And same thing for this one here. Got a yield sign. There's a little bit of a hesitation, but there's nobody coming from the left. So the car just uh, pulls right out. It's got its own lane. It's getting in the middle lane here. I'm just going to go back to standard. That's my usual preference. And uh, as soon as you switch to the modes up and down, you notice the immediate speed response. It either goes a little bit faster or a little bit slower. And uh, on uh, 
14.1.4, it's actually staying in the right lane all the way. It's not switching lanes to the left like it did on the 13. Uh, 14.1.3, it, it got into the left lane and then zipper merged from there. But it could be just because there was a lot of traffic around us. Um, we're way past the school uh, drop off here, so it's not recognizing any school signs doing 40 and 25 and now switch to 35 okay good slow down here this is end of the school zone yeah so far uh it's not reading this and this school zone signs as far as i can tell because it doesn't really really react to them too well a police officer on the left here and uh i wish they would uh have a separate visit visualization for police officers, help us identify them. All right, we should be turning green next. Get the light up ahead, turn green. There we go. And immediately the car takes off, which is amazing. Uh, new Model Y. I've grown. The, uh, the new Model Y has grown on me. It, was, it looked a little weird when it first came out. I was uh, okay with the front end, but the rear end seemed kind of strange to me. But now that I see them on the road, you know, it looks pretty normal now. I think I've gotten used to the design. Because I wasn't sure how that big bar was going to work in and all that, but it actually looks pretty cool now. Excellent job here. We're coming up to our final turn into the, the uh, office complex here. Nice early blinker, but 400 feet away. That is a uh, red light, it, but it should be able to turn. So I don't know why it's not turning. There's, okay, I stopped for the red light and then made the right turn, which is a bit unusual. Previous versions would just make the right turn, there's a pothole here. Uh, right in the pothole, yeah, there we go. So, no pothole avoidance on 14.1.4. Uh, uh, Still hitting all the potholes. All right, we're coming up here to our final left turn, and then let's see what the parking is like today. Um, so, on the previous version, it tried to park me under this uh, pine tree. And I have to move over because I don't want to sap on my car. So we'll see, it should pull. Hopefully, it'll pull further, further down. Okay, it's not doing that. All right, so we'll go right back under the pine tree. I don't know why it's so obsessed with this particular spot. So I'm gonna try to intervene here and repark myself to a further spot because I would prefer to park somewhere down here where there are no sap trees. And also I probably have to change my my pin drop for this location. So this way it uh intentionally picked this one with the leaves to see how it's gonna react to them. Looks like there's no reaction to them right now. Let's see if it reacts to the edge here at all. Nope, it's going right to the curb. No big deal. Leaves are not affecting the parking whatsoever. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when the new video comes out. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.